You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. A special senior day in Lawrence, Kansas. It's the end of the home career of Kansas two stars. Nick Collison, like his father Dave, and Kirk Heinrich, who also played for his father Jim. And indeed, thanks for the memories at Kansas. Welcome to NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber. We're at the historic Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. It's number seven, Kansas, plays host to number 17, Oklahoma State. The Big 12 standings at the top five and perhaps as deep at six will all make the NCAA tournament this year. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Along with Dick Vitale, I'm Brent Musburger. Let's get to one subject right away. Is Dickie V going to the prom? <laughs> What's with the bow tie, my friend? Well, hey, Brent, this is for Jim Phelan. 49 years at Mount St. Mary's. Always wore a bow tie. So today, many of the coaches across America are wearing a bow tie for Jimmy. Jimmy, thanks for all the great, great memories, man. He's done a phenomenal job over 800 wins. Right now, let's check in on the Toyota starting lineups. And of course, there is a story regarding Kansas. Their star, Wayne Simeon, has been lost for the season. He will be very difficult to replace. And for Oklahoma State, you can see that they will play that tough defense, try to keep this game. Dickie B down in the 70s. Roy Williams himself wearing a bow tie today. He'd like to have it played in the 80s or the 90s today. Hey, Roy looks stylish out there. All GQ. I'll tell you this, though. Bottom line is for Oklahoma State, they have to keep that score down. They are an outstanding defensive team, second in the conference, allowing 61 points a game. That's a trademark of any side. One of the great settings in all of college basketball. And one of the best referees at Hightower is the lead man, Heinrich, for the first hoop. Put back, not there. Saved by the Cowboys. They'll bring it down now with their first set. What should we look for here, Dickie B? Well, you know, offensively, Victor Williams certainly a key. Sanders and Allen can shoot the three. Bottom line is Kansas tough defensive team. Aaron Miles, great matchup. Miles right now on Williams. That's Victor Williams for the Cowboys who was handling the ball. Andre Williams, a great shot blocker on the inside. And one. So a very good penetrating move by Tony Allen that time. Tony Allen, one of the impact junior college players in America from out of your area, Windy City of Chicago. Take a look at Eddie Sutton. I really believe he belongs in the Hall of Fame. What he has done as a coach, you look at his long-term resume, he is a Hall of Famer. The guy's a great teacher, and he gets maximum out of his people. So Heinrich will set the table. Goes back to his running mate, Collison. He's inside the arc on that miss. Miles gets it back, though, for the Jayhawks. I think Heinrich and Collison, to me, are the best tandem in America. One-two punch. Sato and West are outstanding down as Xavier when they're on fire as well. Heinrich's going to fire the three ball. He can shoot it, Brent. He's quick. He's got range. Heinrich's just a consummate player. I thought Roy Williams today, but you and I almost was in tears talking about how really special it's been to coach these two kids. Just outstanding young men, Roy pointed out. And he said, as a matter of fact, you could leave your grandchildren with them for a week and you would know that they would be in great hands. And he said, I can't say anything more about an individual than that. And they both can play. That doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Not if you're the coach. <laughs> Rejection. Jayhawks ball and a foul is called against Melvin Sanders. Allison with the block shot. You think about his career, amazing numbers. I tell you, think about he and Danny Manning as you're going to watch him rotate over. There's the help. There's the angle. There's the block shot. I mean, unbelievable numbers he's achieved. Thousand points, thousand rebounds, 200 block shots. Only he and Manning have done that here at Kansas. Foul against Williams. Down on the low block. 
Dick, I think we're seeing some of this tough hand-to-hand -to -hand defensive combat that Oklahoma State features here early. And that's a trademark of any son. He really attacks people defensively. Look at Collison inside. See, a lot of attention is going to go to Collison on the interior. And the reason is obviously, as you mentioned earlier, Brand, they're going to miss Wayne Simeon. I mean, he was dominant down there in that low box. So also, Graves has to pick up the scoring, Dick, and I suppose as we watch him at the free throw line right now, that that would be a big question concerning the Jayhawks' tournament future. How many points can Graves put up now? Well, see, Graves is a more inside player. The one, one great asset of Simeon, he could step away and therefore give some separation down here on a box for Collison. But it hurts their rotation in terms of depth. They're not a deep basketball team. Goes over. Good defense right there. Oklahoma State struggling a little bit after winning 15 games in a row. You know, one of the things when you say about Oklahoma State, I went back, I looked at your uh, article on ESPN, the magazine preseason, looked at Sports Illustrated, looked at the Sporting News. No one thought that Oklahoma State would be this good this season. Because Eddie Sutton is such a great college basketball coach, we overlooked the fact that this team has come from nowhere this year. That's why he'd be my choice as coach of the year in the Big 12. But I know somebody that thought he'd do it. His mother, Burl, is watching us right now. She's 93 years of age. My God, she's watching a buckle in Kansas. She never misses a game. And uh, Eddie's on TV. And we send along our best wishes. There was great deed by the Cowboys right there. They control tempo really well. Lost a tough game to Bobby Knight in their last game. Knight's kids played brilliantly in the second half. You know, Dick, what's been equally impressive, and you pointed out this Kansas defense looking for transition baskets. Roy said he had to have some here today against Oklahoma State. He wanted to get down the floor and attack before Oklahoma State to get into its half-court defense. They just failed to, to make the field goal. The pass was a little bit too long. Yeah, they want to beat them with numbers. They want to get in transition. They don't want to play a five-on-five half-court game. Their game is to get up and down the floor, utilize their quickness, get Langford out in transition. Got to the low block. Can they do anything with it? At that time, Heinrich down with the rebound. Sanders, great defensive player. Everybody raves about him defensively. One of the premier defensive stoppers in America. He's playing Heinrich. Hands all over the ball, tough team defense, trademarks of a Sutton coach team, and here comes Williams. They're not gonna get open He's shot. fouled by Miles. You know, Williams started his career at Illinois State, played for Kevin Stallings, now at Vanderbilt, former assistant from out of Kansas. I should take a look at the two coaches. Look at those resumes, incredible numbers. Unbelievable. When you think of Roy Williams, he's averaged about 27 wins a year since coming from North Carolina. The three, and it's on the money for Victor Williams out of Kansas City. Yeah, Victor was freshman of the year when he played at Illinois State. And has been turned over. So here was Heinrich down at the corner. Victor Williams averaging 15.5 a game. There he is, the little guy, passing the ball really well, shooting 40% from the trifecta, 79% from the free throw line. In this game with 1,166 points. Very quick. Miles matched up with him. Good matchup. Traveling. Little travel core right there, but I'll tell you, tempo right now is the way Eddie Sutton wants the game to be played. It's being played at his tempo, half court. Well, we've had only 11 points scored here. Oh, yeah. uh, three and a half minutes knocked off in this game. Miles will bring it down for Kansas. The, if you take a look at senior day, Dick, which I did on the notes, the Jayhawks have been lethal here on senior day. They've won 19 straight senior day games. Big mountain for the Cowboys, but they're doing a good job. Early. This should be easy for Graves and one. Graves hanging around the basket. And he suddenly wants a push off to be called. But Graves hanging around, gets the offensive rebound. Hey, senior day, so emotional. It's such a special setting. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Take a look at that. Graves, look what I found. Look what I found, and there's the contact. I'll tell you, Eddie says, why me? Why do I got to be part of senior day? I should take a look at the win streaks. Look at it. Unbelievable. But they beat everybody mostly anyway. I mean, their record here at home is just incredible. Dick, that was the second foul on Andre Williams. And that's big. He fouled out with three minutes to go in their last loss in that game they lost to Bobby Knight at Texas Tech. 
from the perimeter. The field goal by Sanders. I mean, he can shoot the three. Great high jumper, too. Look at this record at home. Are you kidding me? Look at that record. 200 W's. They're doubling up. They see? are doubling up. Got back outside to Miles, who missed on the shots. A fine defense by Oklahoma State. Heinrich with the long three ball. Battle for the rebound. Did the bodies go flying? Graves very active, but it was knocked out by uh, Oklahoma State, apparently. You know, one of, one of the philosophies of Eddie Sutton is they're going to allow Miles to shoot the ball. Oh, well, we got our first timeout. We're deadlocked. It's the Big 12. NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by UBS Payne Weber. Building wealth begins with a relationship, and our financial advisors know it. Well, Eddie Sutton's game has always been defense, and his offense has struggled at times this year, but the defense has been tremendous. They're allowing 62.1 points a game. That's second best in the Big 12 behind Oklahoma's 60.3. Now, he is missing a very valuable assistant coach today, his son, Sean Sutton, whom I'm sure is watching, is not feeling well, and we hope that he has a quick recovery. And uh, his father really depends on him during the game and for a lot of other things. He's one of the outstanding young assistant coaches in the country, and someday, of course, he will head up his own program. Yeah, There's yeah. that Oklahoma State D again. Knocked out of bounds as Kansas comes right back. You know, you talk about Sean Sutton. He's got certainly a... A opportunity he will be a head coach somewhere and be very successful and Eddie knows a lot about it. he's had 13 guys go on to head jobs including guys like Gene Katie yeah Bill he has Sullivan. really turned out a lot of coaches hasn't he Dick? yeah he really does a great job teaching and you want his kind of people they learn how to play now uh, up over the back on Tony Allen you know, they went out and won 15 in a row after losing to the college in Charleston up in the Great Alaska shootout. Then finally were beaten by Texas. And I think what happened after that win streak, everybody plays them at another level. But I think as soon as you hear the name Eddie Sutton, you've got to respect that competition. He's had six consecutive years, 20 more wins. Well, Kansas is only two of ten from the field against this Oklahoma State defense, and they have turned it over three times just to illustrate the point that we're talking about here. And they don't get open shots. Everybody's challenged. They give a lot of help. See, there's the help again. Nothing is coming easy against the Cowboys right now. Heinrich's going to earn every deuce he gets today. The putback is not there. Collison couldn't tap it in, and finally Oklahoma State comes away. Really, when you watch the Cowboys, the only thing they lack is really a, a, a big man, a big country, if you will, down at that low block. Yeah, big country back in 1995. Took him to the Final Four. Dan's Oklahoma. He's out fishing right now, not playing anymore. You don't think he's watching the game? Yeah, he's probably watching the country. Oh, sure I walked with him on the streets. His first in his unbelievable debut in New York City. That was at the NIT. Right? The NIT. Yes, you should see his eyes when he saw those big buildings. Williams travel. Turnover by Oklahoma State. Roy Williams has great respect for Eddie Sutton. Told us before the game. Take a look at his defense now. Oh, right in your face. Look at his hustle. Denial. Close. I mean, you can put a clinic on right here. Beat the guy in the basketball. Give help. Look at the help. Stepping in, closing off driving angles. He had a very interesting shot of Roy. Langford is fouled the free line. At the other end, you had a very interesting shot on uh, of Roy Williams. When he was trying to tell the officials that there was elbows flying and pushing. What you want to do against Oklahoma State is get on the free throw line as frequently as you can. Get the whistles to start to build up against them because they're such a tough, tenacious defensive team as I watch them. This is the first time I've seen Oklahoma State in person. And, and folks, they come at you with fingernails. I mean, this is a tough bunch of rascals out there. No question. I Gallagher, Gallagher Iba down here, those fans, one of the great environments in basketball, really get after it. They play at such a level. That's why it's surprising to see them lose a few games recently at home. Gadsden misses. Graves been powerful. Down low. Gets that rebound down. Here comes Miles. He's cut off. Pushed out of bounds. See, I think really early in this game, Langford and Miles are going to have to start making some shots. They're putting so much attention on Heinrich and on Collison that those two guys are going to have to step up offensively and give them some point production. Well, we've got that low-scoring game, don't we? That is exactly what Eddie Sutton wants. He wants this kind of tempo. 
And this uh, foul is called against Kansas before the ball was even inbound. Well, coming up next now, Tiger Woods is still in the hunt. Wow. And see if he's able to make it through the semifinals of the World Golf Championships, Accenture Match Play Championship. Tiger did advance five and four earlier over Scott Hope. So that's next right here on ABC. He's the 3S man, super scintillating sensation. Here it is now, patience again offensively. Traveling. Yeah, he lifted that pivot foot. Standing offensively, he's going to have, watch this right here now. They, they work on triple threat position. Great ball fake. Look at that fake right there. Oh, what a fake he laid on him. Nice little pass. Rotation. Both clubs so well coached, drilled in every facet of the game. And the one thing these teams understand, which is so important, Brent, to win, is shot selection. So many teams that have talent don't understand what a good shot is. These clubs do. So only even money that Roy Williams keeps the bow tie on. He has a regular <laughs> tie back in his office, and he said, if we don't play well in the first half, take it off. I'm taking it off because nice just fans understand. Collison should have come right back up with it, but he is on the free throw line. He didn't come fast enough. It was a heck of a pass. Yeah, they reversed the basketball quickly, and he should have attacked the goal a little quicker, but he was anticipating the help. But every comes off the end. He's wide open. See, wide open down here. Catches the ball. Tries to square his body. He tried. Think I, there was no reason there, I didn't think, to put the ball on the floor. Just simply attack on the pass. And that the third foul on Williams. And so Eddie will have to make a move. Yeah, that is big right now. Losing a shot blocker, an outstanding rebounder. A lot of frustration right there. Andrea, outstanding shot blocker. 200 in his career coming into this game. 71 for the season. That's a big break for Nick Collison, and that's a big break for Kansas. Keep an eye on that now. See, I think that Collison now starts to become effective with Williams on that sideline. Miller handling the ball. He's off the Cowboy bench. Yeah, he gives him a big body on the inside. Strong, active player. See, patience. Patience. Taking time off that clock. Looking for the high percentage shot. It's tough for the Cowboys to find that good shot. They don't have that go-to shooter, really, do they? Here's Allen coming up with a little J off the glass. Sweet. I tell you, they got a lot of balance offensively. Four guys that score, and Allen is one of them. Nice play by McFarland on the interception. Ivan McFarland out of Missouri City, Texas. And back comes Williams at the other end with that miss. And Graves is fouled on the rebound. You know, McFarland's got a lot of ability. He's had some great, great games. He's just got to be a little bit more consistent for them. Last year, they got beaten in the NCAA first round by Kent State and went on that run to get to the Elite Eight. And I really mean, this guy belongs in the Hall of Fame. He's taken four schools to the NCAA tournament. He started at Creighton, then he went to Arkansas, where he became a close friend of the president, Mr. Clinton. What did he tell us today? He was at the White they House. They introduced him to basketball when uh, former President Bill Clinton yep, was a law professor down at uh, school. And he said, I taught him all he knew about yeah. basketball. Yeah, he also said he was invited to the White House four times. He stayed at the White House. That's the most visits by any man who did not give the president big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't give any cash, any cash at all. <laughs> I didn't see your name on that list. No, sir. That's <laughs> why uh, Patsy on Holmes, the most your son coach tonight. He's the head coach at Oral Roberts, one of the Sutton youngsters. <laughs> I tell you, the Big 12 this year, Brent, has been absolutely Are they the best conference in the country, uh, or is the SEC? You know, you can make an argument. It's like Willie Mays or Mickey Mantle. You can battle all day long, but they're two. There's no doubt the two best. I mean, just brilliant all year long. You've got Texas and Oklahoma, Texas Tech. Collison muscling in one. See, and I tell you, with Andre Williams on his side, Mr. Musburger, they're going to bring the ball inside to the All-American. Nick Collison knows how to utilize his body. There he is in the post. Spreads real wide. Miller's going to have his hands full. Now he spins to the lane. Great drop step. Lays it on a goal and scores. I tell you, they've had some outstanding big players here. Ray Flynn, yeah, Ray. And now it's 19, uh, 1,900 points. And very unselfish player. And that's what you love about Heinrich and about Collison. They play for the jersey, man, on the front. They play for that name, Kansas. So we've got a timeout, and you're watching ABC Sports Championship Television.
Iverson and Kobe. A big time doubleheader. NBA Sundays on ABC. Next week, we got hoops. Four against Wisconsin this week, but no problems against Illinois. Lavelle Blanchard follows up this miss. Little home cook and shooting 56% in that first half. Meanwhile, that Louisville game, Digger, they Turn scored over. the first 17 points of the second half to open up an 11-point lead. All right, John and Digger, and of course we'll hear from them at halftime. And uh, here in a low-scoring game, and let's go back in time. <laughs> With the star Nick Collison growing up in Iowa and later would go on and uh, play for his father Dave in high school and uh, now he has become one of the legends of uh, Kansas basketball. 19 out of points, 1,000 rebounds, 200 blocks. You know, uh, only Danny Manning, who's been here, can uh, can claim that. 1,900 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 200 blocks in his fabulous career. That's a pretty good career on any level. I don't care where you play. Look at those numbers, and that's in the tough. I see his little brother who's very proud of him. Talks about him all the time. So, man, I got a special brother, and he does. There's no doubt about it. He's one of the great, great kids. What did Roy tell us? He said they gave him the spirit. It was a time there. He was starting to get a little down in the college game because of some of the things happening in the world of recruiting. He said, but I look at Nick, and I looked at certainly at Kurt, and I knew that I made the wise decision to coach and stay in college. There's a block on Williams. Lankford at the other end, left hand, and his shot is rejected. Blocks at both ends, and the Cowboys come away. I'll tell you, Sanders a great block, shot blocker, a high jumper, 7-4. And that's what Oklahoma State cannot do. See, they had a wide open little jump shot there. Back at the other end is Lankford driving in one. You're right, Brent. They can't run up and down the floor and play in the transition game. That favors the Rock Chalk Jayhawk style. Joe Holiday does an outstanding job as an assistant. They shot the ball too quickly offensively. See, there's the block shot, and they score. They convert off the block shot, kick it out. There's Langford. See, they want to go up and down. They want to utilize Langford in transition, Miles in transition. Hey, Sutton's clubs normally just don't shoot the ball that quickly. They're a little more patient. Think about NCAA tournament appearances. Bobby Knight, 25, and Andy Sutton of the active coaches. Next with 22, tied with Lute Olsen. And our buddy Jimmy Bayheim with 21. Allen bump into the baseline. He's a that scorer. was a fine one on one offensive play there by Allen as he got over to the baseline. Allen, so far in the early going, appears to be, it just appears to be, the best of Eddie's scores here today, but we'll see. So he's got good offensive ability. Started the season really on fire. As you look at their resume, schedule strength. I see the RPI's got him as high as nine. They don't know what the BBDI's got him yet, though. The Vital Ball Dome Index. Key wins Oklahoma and Texas. Lost the College of Charleston, lost the Baylor. College of Charleston won the Great Alaska Shootout. They started the season beat Wyoming, beat Oklahoma State, beat Villanova, coached by Tommy Harriet in his first year as a head coach. That's a heck of an achievement for a school, College of Charleston, to go to the Great Alaska Shootout and walk away with that title when you've got teams up coming over there, Oklahoma State, Michigan State there. Indeed, now we take a look at Kansas. Dick, what interests me is the RPI is only 14. Why is Kansas downgraded in that index? Well, you know, they look at the losses, obviously, and I think losses play a big part in that. And also when they study the schedule strength, the people you play, it's, the RPI is a very confusing as you look at Collison getting a rest right there. I think the bot bottom line is the RPI is a situation where they utilize as a criteria the committee to get an idea, but that's not the sole criteria determining where you rank or where you see them. Study schedule strength of the people you play, how they do. One shot is blocked that time, and Graves with a weak outlet pass and back on the ground. And the foul is going to be called. And now, wait a minute. A traveling call by Hightower. And uh, the, the following official came over and overruled the original call. We'll take a look at the play right here. There seems to be a little trip right there on the perimeter. And then there's the contact. They want to charge the offensive foul. What the violation took precedent. And Rick, nice move. He's got the up and under move. He's got range as a shooter. As a tandem, my friends, they don't come any better than Mr. Heinrich and Mr. Collison. And they love him here in Rock Chalk, J.R. Brown. One of the 
the special environments in college basketball. Halfway through the first half, and watch Heinrich. He'll dip inside the defender and pull the trigger. He'll play at the next level, Brent. He and Collison because they can make shots. Oh, and look at this. Let's go back in time with Kirk Heinrich out of Sioux City. And what a great, great career. He's always been able to shoot the basketball even when he was a youngster. And he was coached by his father, Jim, from the third grade all the way through high school. Heinrich, by the way, is a, is a good golfer, likes to play. And if you ask him who his favorite player is in the NBA, he might tell you Gary Payton, who is now with him. Wow, the, uh, he likes Payton, the huh? Bucks. What'd you think of that trade, Payton for Allen? Well, it, you know, it caught me by surprise. Uh, Payton is a, is a better defender than Allen, but uh, the Bucks gave up a, a heck of a score and a great citizen that you see mom and dad. Yeah, mom and dad in the house, certainly great fans, obviously, of Jayhawk basketball, but obviously the law for their son, especially. They really have a tremendous, tremendous relationship. See the Weatherspoon is on the floor, handling the ball here, number 25 for the Cowboys. Gives them a little perimeter play, not a very deep basketball team. Sanders with a deep three. That's a big time three. He had 30 against Baylor in a win. He's capable of making that shot. What an unbelievable athlete. Long jump, high jump. And an answer by Nash at the other end. They need Nash to give him some minutes off the bench. At practice, they say he's very impressive. He's an athlete of a run, jump. McFarland's fouled. And one. No, wait a minute. Traveling. High Towers got another travel. He's got him lifting his pivot foot. I think Eddie Sutton's going to need a big game out of McFarland if they're going to win here. He has to have a game like he did against Oklahoma where he had 11 points and 14 rebounds. There goes McFarland. He's been a little up and down this year. Oh, he picked up his pivot foot. He picked up his pivot foot up. Good call by Eddie Hightower. Eddie Hightower is one of the best in the business. You know, he's a superintendent of schools up in Edwardsville, Illinois. I had another ref the other day, Maxwell. He's an orthopedic surgeon. Henrico off the front of the iron. Now the Cowboys, they don't want to get caught up in a transition game. Witherspoon has it blocked. See, not a good decision right there. And that's numbers. Heinrich at the other end gives it up on the follow. Out of bounds, Kansas basketball. That's what Oklahoma State doesn't want to get caught up in here. They don't want to get caught up in a racetrack. They don't want to get caught up in a transition game. Got to be a little bit more patient. Here's Roy with that bow tie look. Take a look, man. He's got the Jimmy failing look. It's got me wearing. I can't believe I'm wearing a bow tie today. You look pretty good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Whistle before Collins an attack. Jimmy Fallon, uh, just a legendary coach, and uh, you can see 829 wins trailing Dean Smith and eight off run. The question will Bob Knight get enough to catch Dean Smith ultimately? I believe he will. He loves coaching. He loves it in Lubbock. I'll see him. I'll tell him you say hello Absolutely. on Monday when I see him down the Lubbock. General. Yeah, he's going to have a big game. He's got Kansas there Monday night at Is home. He, uh, what, what do you think he has to do to get into the NCAAs? Well, I think they're very close. I think the win at Oklahoma State was major. He suffered a heartbreaking loss to Oklahoma that I think the committee is going to look at very closely because that was the game with the controversy over the, over the time. Braves yanks away the missed free throw. Oklahoma's got 36 in a row at home. Collison's three ball. Heinrich Tappert back to him. Great instincts, great feel, nice pass. And Graves to finish, has it rejected. That was a, a fine block by Stain. And uh, we weren't sure we were going to see Stain on the floor, but uh, we'll see more of him with rejections like that last one. I'll tell you one thing, he can run Stain for a young player. Played rugby as a young kid, not much basketball experience. And one. Utilize either hand. Got to utilize either hand. Get the ball to the inside. Collison so effective down in the low post. You're going to be seeing him in the NBA, Brent, when you call games. There it is, bounce pass inside. Certainly a first-round draft choice. Uses either hand. He's going to utilize the, the left hand again without Andre Williams on the floor. Collison is absolutely a different player because Williams does a great job with his shot blocking ability, but now in foul trouble, that's a major loss. Eddie continues to... Uh, to search his bench, trying to find a combination that can sort of stem the tide. This has been a very uh, prosperous run here for the Jayhawks over the last couple of minutes. It's the best basketball offensively that they've played, and they've opened up an eight-point lead as a result. And the reason, because they've been able to get a transition. Oklahoma State searching for some scores. 
make shots. When you get that open shot off triple penetration, you got to make that shot count. They had to spread the court. They really do a great job teaching the transition game. Boy Williams is a master teacher, motivator, and what he keeps his players always really focused, always has them ready to perform. Well, Dick, this week's ESPN's Big Monday is presented by Bud Light and highlighted by a couple of great games. Dickie B, where will you be? I will be at the Kansas Texas Tech in Lubbock. Dan Schulman and I will be there for a lot of fun. Seeing Andre Emmett, what a player. He had a monster game against Oklahoma State. He scored 30. He and Powell were sensational. Isn't Emmett half. the leading scorer in the Big 12? Yeah, he, the he can score, man. He can flat out score. He'll be on your all conference team. Oh, no doubt about it. He's just got to do it the general's way. Listen, and the unbelievable sky's unlimited where he can go as a player. Tapped out of bounds. Heinrich got to it beautifully over there defensively. So let's take a break with Kansas leading 23 15, seven and a half minutes left in the first half. so big it will take two female super spies and one of them won't be coming back at all new alias abc sunday 9 8 central john and digger back in the studio georgetown and syracuse and the hoyas come out early tony bethel nails a three yeah doing a great job defensively syracuse six for 26 only 14 points with six plus to go the hoyas right now up 11 late in the first half and here, Kansas leads Oklahoma State 23 to 15. Well, this would be Dickie V's all Big 12 picks, folks, and you can't argue with any of those players. I'll tell you one thing, it's almost like an All-American team there. When you look at the name T.J. Ford, who'd be my choice as player of the year. See, that's what they want to do, man. They want to fill the lane, run the court. You better make your shots count down on the other side, and you better take time off the clock. You're not going to beat them up and down the floor. I had one of its great games this year against Texas here. Only three players have scored for Oklahoma State. They now have more turnovers than field goals made in the game. Nine turnovers and six field goals. So Oklahoma State having trouble handling the ball. Fast break basketball has been the key. They fill those lanes. They like to get out and get numbers. Big loss when Andre Williams went out. That's the light Collison inside. Collison got bumped on that play. You're going to see them as they fill the lanes. Now watch them as they run and fill the lanes. Right here. Freeze it. Right here. He's going to get the lane. He's got the wide lane going right to the goal for the lane. There's the bounce pass. I didn't take it a step. about a kid like Collison. They come to play every day, never give you a problem. They're so coachable. You see the coaching staff stand up. Steve Robinson, formerly of Florida State. Ed Miller. Ed Miller, by the way, his dad was Eldon Miller. He used to coach at Ohio State, Western Michigan. He used to beat me all the time at Western Michigan. Lee on a follow. Did a good job of tracking it down, Langford. Langford, very, very good wing player. Line. Kansas has dominated the glass deck. They're out rebounding up on the at 22 to 12. Now. And it's also leading to them getting out in transition. See, now the danger for Eddie side, they're going to play catch up basketball. That means you got to shoot the ball quickly. And that plays into the style of Kansas. 
So it took a while here in the first half. But uh, over the last five minutes, Kansas has absolutely dominated the game. I'd get it inside the Collison. They can't handle him on the interior. Now let's see if Allen can finish. Nice play by Al. Allen's been impressive here in the first half. He was out of junior college. He's one of the impact junior college players in America. Well, he has nine of their 17 points here in the first half. I'm sure he's got a great impact junior college player. Clemens had a great game as they beat Oklahoma. See if the Cowboys can put together field goals. 11 point lead. They got to shoot the ball quicker, and that's exactly what Kansas wants. Lee foul. Now there is Roy Williams' fine coaching staff over there. They've been uh, Steve through Robinson. years. Uh, yeah. what, a, what a wonderful job Roy Williams has done here in Kansas. Joe Holiday on his staff as well. Steve Robinson was the former head coach. There he is standing behind Roy at Florida State with Leonard Hamilton. Trust me when I tell you this. Leonard Hamilton in three years will have Florida State in the first division of the ACC. Interesting. Yes, right. sir. He's, he's doing a great job down in Miami for sure. He did a great job at Oklahoma State right. before Eddie Sutton took over. He set the tone for that program. Clarification. I'll tell you one thing, a little bit of a, because the game is so early, the crowd is a little subdued as well at the 12 noon start. I think normally it's a lot livelier in here. Yeah, this is not what you would call your uh, basic Budweiser game, is it? <laughs> Look at Eddie Hightower, he's superintendent of schools. People don't realize some of the things these referees do. Like the other day, I had Mr. Maxwell. He said he did two surgeries in the morning, and he's blowing a whistle at night in a Duke game with Georgia Tech. Must be funny for a patient laying in a hospital room sitting. Hey, that's my doctor. He operated on me this morning. I like Roy with that look, I'll tell you. I like Roy. Roy likes that look. Let's play. Look, come on, guys, let's play. Two coaches guy. gonna huddle up. I don't know what the controversy is. Do you? I can't figure it out from here. I think it was over a substitution, Dick. Uh, whether or not it was legal to send somebody in. Let's play, guys. Let's move the game along. He replaced the wrong player. They tried to uh, change the substitution to talk about the. Uh, Scores. And, uh, so we've got that straight. Tick Kansas is doing a great job defensively, challenging every shot, rotating over. It's Roy with that Jimmy Phelan look today. Coaches all over. It's bow tie day in honor of Jim Phelan. 49 years at Mount St. Mary's with 829 wins. 11 blocked shots in this game so far. Six for Kansas. Says, thou shalt not enter thy lane. I think of Eddie Sutton, that Creighton, he takes them to the NCAA tournament. He takes Arkansas to the NCAA tournament. He takes Kentucky. He takes Oklahoma State. What are four coaches to do that? The others, Lefty Drizel, Jim Herrick, and also Rick Pitino. And a lot of whistles here in the first half, folks. Sort of a herky jerky basketball game. That's three on McFarland. Williams had to leave because he picked up three. That was Andre Williams, their, their 6 8 forward out of Kansas City, who picked up the three. And big discrepancy yep. right now at that free throw line. Oklahoma State is one of two. And right now, Kansas is nine of 16. So Kansas has shot 16 free throws, and Oklahoma State only two. Well, one of the reasons for that as well is the way they bring the ball to the inside. With the presence of a guy like Collison, you're going to go to the foul line a lot more. You know, I jumped the gun on Patino. He's going to do it. He's going to have Louisville this year in the NCAA tournament, so he will be one of only four coaches. What about the Jimmy Herrick controversy? That's unbelievable, some of those charges and things we're hearing about that. That story that broke on ESPN. Nicely. Done there by Melvin Sanders using the glass. Sanders, very good athlete. We talked about his high jumping ability. A turnover by the Jayhawks. Well, they got a chance now to cut this lead and get back to this game. James Dickey on the staff for Eddie Sutton, coached at Texas Tech. You know, Stain, the uh, South African rugby player, is back. He's on that high post number four. He's a, he's a big body, and of course, the rugby is a the great sports down in South Africa. Ernie Ells used to play a little. Williams pulls the trigger on the inside, and now suddenly we've got an eight-point game again. Nice patience. Williams, the guy that you want to shoot the ball. And 
Attacks the basket well. Was a heck of a player at Illinois State. Left because Kevin Stallings left. Nice defense oh, there. Look at this going on here. And Allen is uh, fouled as he attempted to uh, to run it out. And Roy cannot be very pleased with what's happened here the last minute and a half. No, they had a chance to blow this lead open big time. As you look right here, there's the dump down inside. Good recognition, trying to, good defense though. Recognizing defensively, covering people, doing a phenomenal job. Roy had a chance right there. He said, hey, we're up 11, want a little spurt. Instead, now Oklahoma State's turned that around. And it's 29-22 is the result of Allen's free throw. Allen has led the way with 10 points. He has 10 of the 22 for the Cowboys. I'll tell you, very quiet in here, very quiet. She's just so loud. So unbelievably rocking. I think people are still not up. It's brunch time, man. It's brunch time down here in Florence. Dickie V, not everybody wakes up like you. Up, <laughs> up, up. That's <laughs> the high point screen. Uh, how did he walk? Traveled, and it goes over now. And uh, fine run here by uh, Eddie Sutton's Cowboys. Nice run. The defense setting the tone. Oklahoma State falling back. Now only down six. Eddie Sutton's got to like this little turnaround right here. Dictated by their defense. Patience and boys are offensively very important in Oklahoma State. But it just sealed up on this. He tried to penetrate with the dribble. Now Stain was able to muscle it over. And the field goal is made by Allen again. What a great job of reversing the basketball, making the extra pass. This could be a 10-0 run if he can finish. Oh, is he quick? Not there, no follow. Tap and save over in the corner for the Cowboys. And they just cannot convert the field goal. McFarland, with a great play, just couldn't score coming out of baseline. Should have had the layup there, though. Should have had that layup and that score. Would have brought it down to a deuce. Had an opportunity. Good defense. Uh, great yeah. ice. Allison at the other end snaps the run. And that's what you want out of your stars. He's a PT peer. They know they got to go to him. And he breaks the momentum by getting a little isolation for a one-on-one -on -one maneuver. With that good isolation on one on one maneuver to get that score. Well, that was a big turnover round after that miss, wasn't it? That's a four point turnaround. Absolutely. I mean, you got the layup on the other end, you're a two point game. That was a four point turnaround. Now the Cowboys forced to play half court offense at the shot clock down towards six. Allen penetrates, no shot, no shot. But a foul is called, so we've got free throws for the Cowboys. I'm going to tell you, Brad, I think the big guy stayed who has limited basketball experience, very young player. If he stays and listens to the tutelage of that coaching staff at Oklahoma State, he's going to be a very good player. Well, look at what they did with big country. Exactly. You know, they took a took a big fella like that and turned him into a, to an NBA player who left because of an injury. And, uh, Anybody who played rugby, Dick, uh, he could probably move. He's probably got decent footwork. Oh, I was watching his. I was watching his speed running up and down the court, very quick. See, Kansas now really doesn't have a very deep bench, and certainly the loss of Simeon. He was such a special player inside, could step out, gave him point productivity after losing. Good in, hey, what about good in the job he's doing right now with the match? That's had a double overtime loss, and uh, he had 18 rebounds last night against the Knicks. 20 points as well. Well, that's the uh, the missed opportunity for the Cowboys. It could have been a two-point game. Instead, now it is back to six. Jayhawks lead it. Uh, Kansas is right up there with the UCLA's and the North Carolinas and the Dukes as far as a basketball school is concerned. And uh, Fog Allen, one of the legendary coaches who put the uh, put the show on the road. Isn't that a handsome statue of him? And speaking of shows, look at Roy work on his players, not a happy camper. He's an intense competitor. They love him because he's such an intense competitor, a teacher, a motivator, made out of as much as possible. They want their players to play within that team concept. He's upset that they let that lead slide up. Then once they were up 29-17 at the 550 mark in this game, as Heinrich takes it back outside, misses. And now, Cowboys with another opportunity, and Heinrich got a hand on the ball, picked up for the baseline, and back to Heinrich on the air ball. That shot right there, not the kind of shot they like at Oklahoma State. Look at that block shot. Another block shot. 
lead and easy. And Sanders puts it away. I thought he can run, he can jump up, up and away. A 7-4 high jumper. Their defense created that opportunity. And there's a reason they were 17 and one. It was 17 and one. They've got great wins over BYU, Michigan State, Fresno State. Allison on a fadeaway baseline shot. Here come the Cowboys again. Allen Sanders and Williams leading the way for them. Back comes Williams, missing that shot. Collis it down, one and out. Playing a little quick right there. Opens up the court a little more, and that's something that they like at Kansas. It's the foul as the uh, backdoor pass toward Nash. Collis and mine out on the Office Depot halftime report. John and Digger will be there. Illinois, Michigan. And uh, Digger's going to analyze uh, who could go far in the tournament. Dick, I told you at breakfast this morning, I really think Illinois could be a sleeper much like Indiana was last year. Well, you know, I think their backcourt might be a little too young. I think at home they're very, very effective. They haven't proven yet that they could play away from home on a consistent basis. Hey, but talk about Oklahoma State. They got wins over Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, Texas Tech. I mean, those are impressive victories. I mean, that's the bottom line is they have played against quality competition because that's life in the Big 12. I mean, this conference is just loaded from game after game. You've got to come to play. I mean, we haven't even talked about Colorado, and they're really at home. They are so tough to beat. Dick, uh, that foul on Allen was his third, so when we look at the uh, foul trouble Oklahoma State has, Trio with three apiece, Williams, McFarlane, and Allen. You know, Mitchell Colorado they haven't lost the conference play yet at home. You know, one of the underrated players in America, Michelle Morendis. This is Williams over in the corner, giving it up in the lead now. He's been giving some good minutes off the bench recently. As Hydra, open for penetrations, got support, quickness, a great feel for the game, great instincts. Lakes is one of the great environments. Collison battling for the loose ball and a jump ball. An outstanding defensive job by the senior Collison. And there's the stupid rule. I mean, I can't stand that rule. He makes a great play defensively, and then alternate possession is going to determine it goes the other way. That's Heinrich in the open court, getting the ball in the lane, finishing the play. I mean, I can't tolerate that rule. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's a kid being penalized, as you just said so well, Brent. A great effort defensively, and then alternate possession goes the other way. Get rid of that rule. Okay, I agree. I bet, you know, I always, I always say that. The NBA is going to jump ball, which is what that off. situation deserves. Abekwe is in number two now for Oklahoma State. the shot Williams penetrating and one a beautiful drive now the leading scorer and uh, Victor Williams out of KC has really carried the load here and a reminder next Saturday ABC Sports will have a regional college basketball doubleheader 130 Eastern Cincinnati Marquette or Wake Forest NC State then at 330 Eastern the big one Texas Oklahoma or Clemson, Georgia Tech, so check local listings for the games in your area. I can't wait to go to Norman, Oklahoma for that game. It should be really special. T.J. Ford and Hollis Price, two of my favorite players, and they would be my backcourt if I was picking an All-American team. And that should be special. I got 36 in a row they put at home down in Norman. Miles saw an opening. Took advantage of that opening. Come out of Portland, Oregon, spotted that opening. Dick, why did he come to Kansas rather than Oregon or Oregon State? Well, you know, he felt, well, first of all, his program is so special with the great success they've had here, and he just felt that he could step in and play right away, and he did. He stepped in immediately, was a starting point guard. He's a kid who gives him great defense, gives him quickness. He's got to work on his range as a shooter, but he's young enough that he can still develop that kind of range to make him even more effective. Well, you mentioned Victor Williams. He is really playing well. And Roy told us that he's a solid point guard. Kid averages 15 a game, three assists a game, attacking the basket, never intimidated. I see a lot of teams that come into arenas like this or down at Cameron where they're intimidated. You don't see this club intimidated at all, Oklahoma State. Spinning the court, trying to get the high percentage shot, going to finish with the last shot. Kansas, they're going to have time even if they bring the shot clock down. Yeah, it's Kansas. Not, uh, they're not synced up completely. Kansas will get one last look. 
Sometimes people like to play two four. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Automatically, yeah. yeah. And they're taking it down. I think they're happy that they go in at halftime under double yeah, digits. That's their style, isn't it? To, uh, but, but they and Oklahoma State almost got it back, and they do. Allen and one. So Allen comes up with a huge play in the waning moments of the first half to make this a seven-point game. What a nice play that was. Oh, it's down to five. Down to five with that steal. And we're going to watch the play by Allen. Allen certainly has played well. Pops the ball loose. He and Williams have given him a solid performance, basically. The ball goes to the deck, a lot of hustle, a lot of scrap. Got to get on a loose ball. There it is. Seals off really well, using the basket as a as a seal. Yeah, that's right. It was 37-32. I think that made it 30, so let me correct my mistake. And uh, he can cut it now to four if he can make this free throw. Kansas still have time for a last shot. And he does exactly that, Dick, in 37-33, uh, and now 6.9. What kind of a defense will uh, Eddie Sutton come up here? He's going to probably try to go a little bit three-quarter court, so they have to take some time off the clock. I'll tell you one thing. Oklahoma State's a club that has proven they can win away from home. There aren't a lot of teams that can win away from home. Especially in the Big 12 this year. Yeah, it's they're 6-4 on the road this year. Well, coming up next, Tiger Woods. See if he'll make it through the semifinals, the World Golf Championship. Accenture match play title earlier, five and four Tiger advanced over Scott Hope. That's next right here on ABC. I guess anytime you say the name Tiger Woods, it's a, it's a real wild. Hey, look at all the bow ties. You say Tiger Woods, you think of that cash register going ding a ling ding ding a ling ding I mean, he just rolls it in, man. He's so talented. Hey, you and I met David Padgett, the seven-footer. Gonna be coming to Kansas next year from Reno. He'll be a McDonald's All-American. I'm gonna do that McDonald's game. I can't wait to see LeBron James and company in Cleveland. Oh, oh what a big three three. for Collison at the buzzer to end the oh, half that's big, on baby. senior day. An exclamation point by Nick Collison at the end of the half, and the lead is seven at the intermission. Take a look, plenty of time on the clock. They're going to go to the Roll American. He shows his range. He said, that's for you, Mr. Musburger. Look at my range. I got an area code jump shot. What a big momentum to go in at halftime. Kansas 40, Oklahoma State 23. The Office Depot halftime report with John Saunders and Digger Phelps is coming up next right here on ABC. NCAA Basketball, presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Toyota. Get the feeling. We'll be back with the Office Depot Halftime Report after this message and a word from our ABC stations. This is the Office Depot Halftime Report. Here now, John Saunders and Digger Phelps. 40 to 33 is the lead right now for Kansas. Wayne Simeon out for the season because of the shoulder. On senior day, they're not messing them right now. No, because they still rebound very, very well. That's one thing they do is to take away your chance to get second chance points. 31-20 in that first half. But Callison hitting that three at the buzzer, yeah. 15 points first half. He's still the guy you got to stop in the paint for Kansas. They couldn't stop him in the paint no. or outside of the stripe either. Illinois against Michigan. Michigan could not get to 50 points on Wednesday against Wisconsin. Wisconsin will do that to you from time to time. Against Illinois, though, they were all over the backboards. Graham Brown, the bucket plus the foul. And then D. Brown, a three-pointer for Illinois. The game's tied at 49. Lavelle Blanchard, he buries a three. We're tied at 54. In the second half, Blanchard again, another three. Michigan has the lead, but then Illinois starts to take over. Brian Cook from NBA range. Brian Cook goes inside, outside. He's the key to this team, especially on the road. This would be a big win for Illinois, getting a road win. Michigan coming off only scoring 42 points at Wisconsin. Illinois has taken nine of the last 10 meetings against Michigan. East Carolina against Louisville. Early on, it was ECU's Derek Wiley with a little pull-up right there. 
East Carolina had built the lead, but Reese Gaines brings him back. Reese Gaines brings it back. Here's two of his 25 points coming up to this point in the game. He's very solid, and they got the transition game off to a 17-0 run to start that second half. Tyquan Dean got that going, and he continues it here. Backs up, spins, turns, free throw line, knocks it down. Louisville scored the first 17 points of the second half. Coming off that loss to Marquette, Louisville's got to get a win. Marvin Stone's not playing while he's under investigation. Syracuse against Georgetown. In the first half, the Hoyas already up 6-0, and Tony Bethel buries a 3, an 11-0 run the Hoyas would start with. 13-5 when Drew Hall nails a 3 of his own. Georgetown up by 11. Then Victor Sabnick, short little jumper. Georgetown's lead is at 6. Bethel another three. A lot of Georgetown, but the story of the game is the way Carmelo Anthony and Syracuse fought back to get within three at halftime. Yeah, slow start, starting six for 26, credit Georgetown's defense, but Sweetney only one for five. You got to get him the ball. Seton Hall coming back. They were losing. West Virginia made a run. This is nine straight wins now for Seton Hall. They are now 10 and four in the Big East West, and Notre Dame is nine and four coming up to play Rutgers later today. This Big East West is going to come right down to the wire to see who the top two seeds are. All right, Dayton against Fordham. The Rams have lost 13 straight overall, but they hang in against Dayton, although they pull it out late. You got to love Brooks Hall. He had 20 points this weekend against Rhode Island. Solid performance. They are tough. When we are done. It's the Accenture Match Play Championship. Tiger Woods has advanced. He'll meet Adam Scott. That is coming up after college basketball. Where's Ernie Els? Where's Phil Mickelson? Must be the equipment. I guess the Tiger's equipment's working out pretty good I like it. today. 40 to 33, the Jayhawks with the lead. Can I write a check? Yo. 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 Can I write a check? Yo. 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 Can I write a check? Yo. Next time use the Visa check card instead of checks. It'll get you in, out, and on with life. Yo. Gee. Yo, gee. Yo. This is the Office Depot Halftime Report. And welcome back, John Saunders, alongside Digger Phelps, as we march towards the Final Four. And I, I've heard this rumor that you refuse to use the word bubble this week. No B word until the Selection Sunday show. When you're chewing and you blow a... I don't chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very wise. But you do have a group of eight teams that, for some people, it's going to look like they come out of nowhere to get to the Final Four. Well, there's a lot of teams are physical, a lot of teams have senior experience, but when you take a look at these four teams, UConn, Emeka Okafor playing very, very well. They were in the Final Eight last year. Georgia, Jarvis Hayes and company, a very physical team. They have a chance. Illinois, they talk about Brian Cook. Well, it's Roger Powell. He's playing very well. I love Illinois' chances. Xavier with Romain Sato and David West, very physical. Any one of these four teams are going to be trouble in your bracket. I like the way they can show up in the final eight. All right, another group of four schools, all beginning with the letter M. And everybody talks about getting to the Final Four. This time of year, you want to be in Phelps' four. Yeah, the M&M &M teams that I love. Marquette, obviously, with Travis Diener, Dwayne Wade in that backcourt. Very solid defensive team. Maryland with Steve Blake and company, three other guys back from last year's national championship team. Mississippi State, Merrill Austin in the paint. He's a deciding factor. And Missouri with Arthur Johnson in the paint to go with the two Rickies, Paulding and Clemens. They were in the final eight last year. Believe me, one of these four teams, in my opinion, I think has a strong chance to make it to New Orleans for the final four. Marshall Mathers likes that group as well. Absolutely. Second half is coming up. This has been the Office Depot Halftime Report, brought to you by Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. We'll be back with the second half after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. You're watching NCAA Basketball, presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. At the half. Kansas leading Oklahoma State 40 33 only three Cowboys scored in the first half Tony Allen led the way with 14 the Melvin Sanders chipped in 11 and Victor Williams scored eight there were six Jayhawks 
who scored in that first half. Paced by seniors, Nick Collison with 15 and Kirk Heinrich Dick with nine. Well, the seniors certainly responded, but also a gallant effort by Eddie Sutton's club to get back in this game after being down by 11. I thought that big three by Collison was big. First four minutes of this half, the sequence here now will determine whether or not Oklahoma State is going to have a legit shot to win this game. Kansas with the opening possession of the second half. Kansas got big edge up the free throw line, certainly rebounded as well. Yeah, Heinrich doesn't get many open looks. He finally gets one. He finally gets one. And you can count it. Nothing but nylon if he gets one. Oh, look at Roy. Changed his time. Took the bow tie off. He took the bow tie off. So he wasn't that pleased with the seven-point lead at the intermission. And now he is up ten. Coaches, are they superstitious or what? He wore that bow tie as a tribute to Jimmy Fallon. McFarlane is short. McFarland has really been nowhere to be found offensively at all. He didn't score in the first half. Langford attacking, and he's fouled. They really attacked the basket. Well, they attacked the basket in transition. Well, let's take a look at the Nike first half stats right now. Both teams shooting in the 30s. Take a look at the free throws there. That's 21 major. for the Jayhawks in the first half, and only seven for the Cowboys. Yeah, that's a major. There's a differential right here in the game, and it's because Kansas is a lot more aggressive offensively in attacking the basket. And now McFarland saddled with four fouls in the opening minute of the second half. Doesn't bode well, does it, right now for Oklahoma State. NCAA Basketball, presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Sam Adams Light. Shockingly great taste. Nike Basketball. And the all-new Accord from Honda. It's more Accord than ever. Well, in the uh, first half, Roy Williams honoring Jim Phelan. Seven-point lead and not that happy with the performance. And, uh, so changed his neckwear here for the uh, second half. And right away, Heinrich respects that tie with a three. And we're up to a ten. Well, he told you and I up in his office. He said, if I don't like the way we're playing at halftime, he said, I hope Jim understands. I'm changing. I'm taking my tie with he me. He said Jim would do the same thing, but I don't know about that. <laughs> no, Jim has never changed. <laughs> Jim has always left that bow tie on. I tell you, Roy does look a little better right there than the bow tie, even though he looks good with everything. I mean, he looks like a, a senator. Does he look like Senator Williams? He's got that look, man. He's got that look. U.S. Senator. But you know what? He'd rather be where he's at. You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> he loves it That's here. That's a pretty exclusive club in Washington, my friend. <laughs> he loves it here in Lawrence. I can tell you that. Well, the Cowboys find themselves behind by 30 dozen right now. Williams and the three scores in the first half. McFarland, incidentally, is still on the floor, even though he's saddled with the forward. He muscles in, and Collison fouled him. Well, you know, McFarland's had, as I said, some great games. Had a great game against the Sooners with 11 and 14, but he's been a little bit inconsistent all year. They expected him to be a much more consistent parent. Now, see, he's got the hand. He can't hand check. Soon as you put a hand on him like that, see, now he'll get away with that next year when he goes to the next level. But he's not getting away, especially now there was a directive sent out by the head of the officials to all the conference people, and they passed it on to their coaches that we're going to call it very close to the post. As you look at a man, I say absolutely belongs in the Hall of Fame. His coaching ability and talent, what he has done, he belongs there. Now we have four scores as McFarland made the front end that time. So he's only the fourth Cowboy to put points on the board here. And the, uh, the lead for Kansas is 11. I'll tell you, the big th threes by Collison at the end of the half and then Heinrich to start the half. Major. He walked. Definitely lifted his pivot foot. Graves in the three-second area. See, Graves going to have to really produce for them if their dream, and their dream, obviously, when you're at Kansas, your dream is not to get in the tournament. It's not to get in the NCAA tournament. Your dream is to cut the nets down. As Wayne Simeon, what a player. Wish him nothing but the best goal for shoulder surgery. And the Knicks doctor, uh, the Giants doctor, is going to do it. A shoulder expert, Dr. the wall. Williams steps it into the left corner, nails the three. Kansas then turns it over. And the Cowboys looking to put together a little mini run. Well, Victor Williams did a great job shooting that three. They came back and hustled on the defensive end. Yes, Dr. Warren will be doing that surgery. He's a Giants orthopedic man. 
They're going to have that surgery a lot of four to March, and it'll take them four or six months rehabilitation. I think we got a timeout uh, called here by Sutton's bench. So Simeon with the shoulder problem over on the uh, sideline. And tomorrow, of course, don't miss the uh, season premiere of the IRL IndyCar Series. Michael Andretti, Kenny Breck, and uh, friends, and some of the new drivers over there. Sam Hornish Jr. That's the Toyota Indy 300 tomorrow, 1 Eastern on uh, ABC. Well, Dick, there's no question that uh, no matter what happens here, really, these two teams are headed for the field of 64 and the, and the big dance. Well, there's no doubt about that, obviously. Certainly teams that are going to be tough outs for anybody. The Big 12 is going to be well represented when you talk about the NCAA tournament. Look up on top. We look right now, Kansas with a one-game lead over Oklahoma and Texas. We have that showdown next week. Kansas got to go on a road, though. They got at Texas Tech Monday, and then they got a tough one senior day at Missouri, and that's certainly not going to be easy. So Oklahoma has a little a bit of an edge playing at home. They got Nebraska. They're on a road today with Texas A&M. So I think the Sooners have a chance, a big chance. Stain back on the floor for the Cowboys. Couldn't get his hand on that rebound. Jay Hunt coming it down. Here's Hunter. So Texas got to go on a road to play Oklahoma. He can make that shot. Back to Hyman. He's got it wide open. He misses the medium range jumper, but steps out and knocks down the three. He's got such a soft touch, Brent. I told you earlier today why I feel he'll be effective in the NBA. His shooting ability, he's got great touch. One of the areas that seems to be lacking when you look at the NBA, consistent perimeter shooters. You don't get much time in that league, I'll tell you that. So much speed, talent. Stain couldn't come up with it, and uh, Heinrich now has tied Collison 15 apiece here in this game, so they have 30 of the 48 Jayhawk points. Not up at the side right now, Dick Collison, so looks, this is a danger time right now for Oklahoma State. The next three minutes are going to be really danger time. they got to avoid a spurt by Kansas. Just Langford from over here. And he can drive, he can slash her quick, explosive, the crowd gets alive, little rock chalk, Jayhawk. Maybe it was the tie. Maybe it was the tie. Put the bow tie off. And the lead now at 13. Kansas, and that's their biggest of the afternoon. Williams inside. Got the foul, but didn't get the roll. Watch uh, Lankford on this drive. And kind of a running hook here, isn't it? Well, he's a left-hand player now. A little change of direction. Goes between the legs. And then there's the hook. Yes, sir. A little hook shot. Lays it on the glass, gets the conversion, comes out of Texas. Texas got that tough date going to Oklahoma next week. Third and six in a row at home. Look at Eddie right now shaking Eddie's his head. Eddie's just shaking his head. It's a struggle scoring points for him. And, I, and I'm sure that's what's uh, sort of going through his mind. Well, you know, the defensive effort of Kansas has got to salute it as well. They allowed Texas A&M the other day, 26% shooting. And right now, Oklahoma State's about 35%. Uh, good play. He got fouled. No question. And, uh, Eddie wants an was, I, I agree with Eddie. He was breaking out at the mid-court line, and it's going to be called. I know that the, uh, the fans are unhappy about this call, but... Uh, but I would I would agree with this. I would too. And it's 50-38. I would definitely. There it is. There's a steal. And he grabs him. There's no he, doubt about it. going to be a run out. As soon as two shots, get the basketball. I like Victor Williams. I'll tell you, he, Sanders, they got some nice players. And Allen. He, he's played hard, hasn't he? Every time they seem to get that little spurt, get up 12 or 13. Here comes Oklahoma State. They creep back to 7 or 8, 6. The free throw line. That is major right there. 15 for 23 versus 9 for 13. Roy not happy about it, obviously, nor would any coach, but, uh, but I agree with the officials on that. Yeah, he had a breakaway, as you said. It was an automatic layup the other way. I mean, not grabbed him. I think it's also a very good defensive player. Left-hand wraparound, not there, and Graves muscles the rebound. Uh, Kansas has had a big edge rebounding here today, well, too. Well, Graves, big, strong guy, lost a lot of weight, came in out of condition. 
Allison wants to post, and he draws the double right away, so he's got to kick it back. Got to find the open man. Once you get double teams, you got to find the open man. I had a kid the other night that did that really well. Wade from out of Marquette. What a oh, player. Play. Sensational player. He wrapped up player of the year in Conference USA. Lee not there, and uh, offensive rebound again for the Jayhawks. Collison maneuvering, paint, spin, left hand. Oh, Beautiful. what a great oh, play. What a play by Nick Collison. That's an All-American play right there, Brent. That's an absolute super play by the All-American. Utilizes either hand so effectively. I love it when this environment gets loud, it gets enthusiastic. Is that good, tough man-to-man -to -man defense Kansas is playing? Good ball movement. Williams in and out. Heinrich pushes it. Puts pressure on the defense, running that ball up. Collison again. Showing his inside-outside ability. He can shoot the rock, my friends. He is a special college player. Oh, and they're going to miss him here next year. He and Heinrich, the best tandem in America. One, two, punch inside, outside. Allen, he's been quiet this half. Sanders sealed up by Collison, who does it defensively. And here comes Heinrich. He's got numbers. Oh, what a nice look. Jam City get a T.O., baby. The Jayhawks are on fire. Here they go. Senior day. Heinrich Collison. Mr. Musburger, do you like him now? Absolutely. 57-40. Kansas leading it by 17 here. And the Cowboys, as you take a look, at the many skill levels of Nick Collison, puts it down on the floor, spins, left-handed hook shot. Now, it is Heinrich's turn, coming down the floor, has numbers, beautiful pass to the middle, and the finish for Keith Langford. Tell you what, an excellent play, very unselfish. Take a look at the seniors on senior day today, getting it on the lob. Two outstanding college players. I don't know what the future, you know, presents for them as NBA players, but I do know this: they are sensational college players. Well, they are certainly both intriguing. Collison, just for the last few minutes, if any scout is watching, and I'm sure there are several, the fact that he was able to take it inside and then come back outside with that range is something that will intrigue the scouts, I'm sure. I watched your eyes, and I know you're a tough critic because you've seen so many great players. Your eyes, you looked, you looked, you said, wow, I saw those eyes of yours, Mr. Musburger. You were impressed. You were impressed. Yes, I was, no question. And I was just a good, like you said, like an Allen. I've also been impressed with Allen, although he's been under quiet in the second half for the Cowboys. Yeah, he should have a great year next year. His first year in college, one of the most impact players, I think, out of the junior college ranks this year. The uh, Big 12 tournament this year is not in Kansas City, as is normally the case. They'll be down in Dallas at that uh, beautiful new arena down there. I think Texas really, really made sure that happened to get it out of Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Barnes doing a great job with that long run program. Well, NCAA basketball is presented by UBS Payne Weather, and it is the Kansas Jayhawks who are dominating right now, leading 57-42. Shaking up his Braves, but he's all right. The big hombre is on his feet. Took a hard shot, but he's going to be fine. Time out. John Saunders and Digger Phelps back in the studio once again. And in the Big Ten, Michigan down by three to Illinois. They move it around, find Lester Avery, open look that just won't go. Big defensive rebound. Illinois now 20 and five, making a statement in the Big Ten, chasing Wisconsin at the top. Meanwhile, Kansas State and Missouri all tied up. Missouri coming off that big win against Oklahoma. So Missouri, hoping to wind up at the NCAA tournament. Uh, 
having to battle today against Kansas State. Here the Jayhawks lead it 57-42 over Oklahoma State, and they have uh, again seized control of the game. But as Dick Vitale has pointed out a couple of times, the Cowboys seem to have been out of it, and they battled back. Illinois with a big win at Michigan today. Bill Self, former assistant coach to Eddie Sutton, one of the rising young stars in the coaching fraternity, doing a fantastic job with a very young backcourt. These freshman guards are tremendous. D. Brown, you'd love him. Freshman guard that plays from out of just Illinois. State home. That was a nice play, wasn't it? Here comes Collison. Nice pass. Great feed to Heinrich, who bring it back out. The experience shows with those two fellows, the uh, four years, the numbers they put up. Heinrich penetrates, you see, he was tied up that time and uh, drew the foul. They do a great job of always looking for one another, always unselfish. The trademark of both these coaches. Dick, uh, would you say that? Arizona and Kentucky are a little bit of cut above the rest this year. Well, it looks that way. Certainly, Kentucky's been suffocating with their defense. They got a big day today with Georgia. Georgia's got all that controversy down there over the Herrick situation in terms of complaints by a former player. But the bottom line is Kentucky's been super, and I would give an edge Arizona. Oklahoma's not far behind it. Florida's a very good basketball team, and Duke's getting better and better at the right time. Runner out there, and Collison couldn't tap it back up. Cowboys will come back. They got numbers here quickly. Transition and William, great defensive play by Miles. Miles did a tremendous job. He's an outstanding defensive perimeter player. Did a great job in transition. Oh, he's thinking about it. That's a slide in the box inside. Cowboys have had trouble stopping Collison, who has now gone right handed and left handed down low, and the block established that offensive. Performance 22 points for Nick Collison here today on Senior Day. Kansas closing in on 20 straight wins on Senior Day in the Allen Fieldhouse. Remarkable record. Nine block shots. Collison and Eminem are on the inside. Total mismatch. They got nobody to handle him on that interior. Ah, three ball is finally put up there. Uh, that'll help the Cowboys if they can come back with that. And that is uh, 19 now for Allen. Graves is blocked in there. Come the Cowboys. Williams with the block shot on Graves down in that three-second area. They got to get Graves going a little bit offensively. Nice pass caught. to McFarland by Allen that time. And now it shows 59-47. They always make that little run. They jump four behind, then they go on a little spurt. Trying to get a little one-on-one -on, -one on his side with Collison. by Heinrich. I'll tell you, there's no quit in the Oklahoma State team. I'll tell you, they're not going to play for any Sutton and fold over. They're going to battle and battle and battle. Great inside position. The old-fashioned way of rebounding, blocking out, getting good position. He's a trailer in a transition game. Now he's got an open look, passed it up for a pass to the big man, and Graves couldn't finish it. Miles gets back defensively, though, and here they come again. Nick had that open shot, had that open three. Boy, Collison is all over the floor. He steps it out, goes to the low block on either side. Heinrich has to give it up. Sanders did a great job getting in his face. He thought he had an open look, but Sanders, a defensive stopper, stepped out. I'm going to get Graves for a high post screen here. Well, Collison low and on the feed. The wrap by Lee is not there, but a foul. Collison, excellent passer as well. Man, you think about some of the numbers of Roy Williams. Yeah, he's fouled out of the game, Dick. Yeah, that's the big. They were in trouble right from the gate. Williams got a foul trouble early in this game. Fouled out against Texas Tech. They missed him in the last three minutes of that game. They couldn't handle Andre Emmett. We had 30 in that game. Can't wait to go to Lubbock to see the general on Monday night. Should be a heck of a game. Kansas coming to town. There's a little James Dickey. He was the former coach at Texas Tech. Bobby Knight replaced him. He worked with Eddie Sutton down in Kentucky as well. Good to see him back on the sideline. 
I mean, you look at Kansas, they've had only one season under Roy Williams, Brent, where they didn't win 20 games, and that was his first year at 19 and 12. They've had 13 straight seasons with 20 or more wins. I mean, they're 33 and 4 last year, 34 and 2 and 97, 35 and 4 and 98. I mean, those are incredible numbers. You know, we've had uh, kind of a remarkable number of block shots, folks. 17. I'm sitting here with uh, Tim Belt, our producer, passed that along to me. I was thinking the last time I saw 17 block shots, I can't remember. That's a long, long time ago for me, too, because both these times teams attack the basketball. They're aggressive. They drill defensively on a regular basis. Defense is part of their systems. Kids know if you're going to play there, you're going to play on a defensive end. they got some good athletes that have excellent timing. You get up and block shots. That, uh, Dick, to follow up on your point about Williams and foul trouble, the uh, tenth, tenth game that he has fouled out of this season. Yeah, they missed it, there's no doubt. Eddie Sutton Rose, that's a big, big loss. Veteran player, guy has 200 block shots coming into this game. He gives him an enforcer on the inside, good rebounder. Well, you know, uh, last night we missed you getting town early enough, and uh, the Kansas City Chiefs coach, Dick Vermeil, his lovely wife, Carol, we were uh, out to dinner with them. And, Roger uh, Twible as well. Roger was there yeah. with his wife, Michelle, and uh, had a great time. Dick's optimistic about the Chiefs, but uh, he needs a little defensive help, and uh, he, needs, he needs some of Eddie Sutton's defenders, I think. And our coverage of NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber returns after this message and a word from our ABC station. John and Digger with Georgetown and Syracuse in a tight battle. See about 10 minutes left right there. The Hoys moving around nicely. And Bowman gets the dunk. And then Tony Bethel lines up a three and gets fouled. And what's allowed this is Sweetney's got the ball to start that second half, getting points in the paint. They must have listened to you at halftime. Maybe. Georgetown up by six. So Sweetney, one of the difference makers, and here it has been Nick Collison with 22 points and 10 rebounds. And uh, prior to the game, well, it's amazing. It's just amazing where they come and ask for oh, the not. Dickie V autographs. Wow. And uh, oh, he says any more back oh. there. And there he is, of course, the bow tie man himself. That's <laughs> my guy, Mr. Musburger. We had a lot of fun today at breakfast. You didn't pay, and I didn't pay. We got free breakfast. <laughs> hush, hush. Don't tell accounting that. <laughs> then load out. This thing's uh, maneuvering, and uh, <laughs> maybe you can do that rugby, but not in the hoops. Time permitting, of course, stay tuned for the uh, UBS Payne Weber post game report with John and Digger. You know, Georgetown got that lead on Syracuse. What a major disappointment they've been along with UCLA. Ready for this? UCLA, forget NCA, forget an IT. They may not make the Pac-10 tournament. Can you believe that? And it's in LA. How embarrassing. embarrassing. Oh, how embarrassing that would be, not making the Pac-10 tournament. Langford uh, with a nice move coming down the right baseline. The left hander puts it away, and it's 63-47. I really like his scoring ability. I really love the way he attacks the basket. I'm telling you, this team would have been special with Simeon. They're still going to be a very dangerous team at tournament time. Dick, uh, will they wind up with the number one, or are they dueling Oklahoma, do you think, for that uh, for that honor? I know we, we think right now, anyway, Kentucky and Arizona are headed for number ones, but what, what about Kansas? Well, you know, Oklahoma's going to be in the mix as well, and certainly Duke and Florida. As you take a look at Langford right now, nobody rotates over, beats him to the goal. If Kansas can run the table and go out and win the uh, Big 12 tournament, I think there's a great chance of being number one. But Florida right now, it's in their hands. If they could beat Georgia on the road Tuesday, and then they got a home date with Kentucky, they have a great shot for a number one. I think it's obvious Arizona, Kentucky will be number ones. But Oklahoma's in the mix, Texas, I mean, those clubs, I think the last two are wide open. A lot of basketball to be played yet. Interesting that uh, you don't mention the Big Ten, do you? And uh, when oh, you talk about number one seeds this year, they're, they're down. It runs in cycles, and right now this year is not a vintage Big Ten year in terms of heavyweight teams. That's a good team, but no heavyweight knockout teams. You're watching the Jayhawks. Uh, one thing comes to my mind today. On senior day, you have two great stars, uh, both of whom could be legitimate All-Americans this year, and Collison and Heinrich. As Williams gets inside Heinrich that time, and back comes Collison with the rebound. He now has 31 career double-doubles for Collison, but 
you just don't see seniors like this finish up their careers after they start. You only have a great talent. They, they jump early to the NBA, and it makes this difference. As you see, Heinrich with a pull-up wouldn't stay down for him, but uh, it is rare to see a couple of young young fellows like this uh, go the distance. Because both these guys could have come out last year, would have been first-round draft choices. Obviously, their stock has even gotten higher. Certainly, a lot will be determined by who leaves. As you take a look at some of the greats that have played here, look at certainly Danny Manning up there. And certainly right now Collison up there in all categories as well. You know the team I love the most that I've covered all the years here was 1997. Jock Vaughn, Rafe LaFrance, Paul Pierce. They lost to Arizona in the Sweet 16. And that's the year that Arizona with Michael Bibby and company and Simon and Dickerson won it all, beating Kentucky for the national title. Okay, it goes over. 63-47, eight minutes. Rafe LaFrance plays with the uh, Dallas Mavericks, had his jersey retired. Drew Gooden, who was a great star here last year, helped lead them to the Final Four, was traded the other day for Memphis, and he's now in Orlando, where he's putting up some very impressive numbers, a rookie in the NBA. See, Miles makes that open shot. That's the part he's going to add to his arsenal. The ability to make that constant, consistent open shot. They not only have a kid coming in who you and I met today, Padgett, they got J.R. Giddens coming here as well. And he's a McDonald's High School All-American from out of Oklahoma. It just keeps going and going under Roy Williams. And they got Jamal Wilkes, his son will be coming here, Omar Wilkes. We've got a timeout in Lawrence. NCAA Basketball, presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by UBS Payne Weber. Building wealth begins with a relationship, and our financial advisors know it. Well, this week's UBS Payne Weber Senior of the Week is Clemson guard Edward Scott on the floor. He averaged better than 30 points, five rebounds, five assists, and a pair of victories. He was named the ACC Player of the Week off the court. He donates his time visiting local elementary and middle schools in the Clemson area. Reads to students both during the offseason and midseason. UBS Payne Weber donates a thousand dollars to the Senior of the Week scholarship fund in the name of Tiger Senior Edward Scott. He made my all ACC team. Got out of my website. It's part of ESPN.com. All my All Star teams. Henry tried to volleyball and assist, and uh, it ricocheted out. Of Scott as a player. Speaking about that ACC, what a job Skip Prosser has done. They try to throw a diagonal pass. We're going to look good in states. Now Florida leading Auburn by five right now as Louisville comes up with a victory 82 76 over East Carolina. And Eddie Sutton and the Cowboys are struggling here. The Xavier, six over George Washington in the first. I'll tell you, Xavier, one of the hot teams in America right now with David West and Renee Sato. Louisville played without Marvin Stone today. They're sitting him out. The NCAA investigating back in his early days in high school. I don't, that blows my mind. Five years ago, they're going back to what happened in high school. Instead of, I mean, I, I just don't understand the logic, the timing. Nash, Nash down squares down. up beautifully on it, doesn't he? It's a 20, 67, 47. Very efficient, very effective defensively. And the two stars, there it is, the block shot. They stay with it and get a conversion. Two stars responded on senior day here. Heinrich and Collison. Staying fouling, Miles. I think Collison the double double every game. His last four games at AM, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Iowa State. But well, we'll double get double header next week at 1 30 Eastern. You'll see Cincinnati Marquette or Wake Forest, North Carolina State. And at 3 30, Texas, Oklahoma, or Clemson, Georgia Tech. I'll uh, I'll miss you next week, my friend. But I want to go see a fellow named Jordan play in Madison Square Garden. You're going to see uh, Michael? Sunday. Give me his autograph. Give me his autograph. <laughs> Tell Michael I want his autograph. I'm going to go see T.J. Ford, who pounds it down inch for inch. He's the best in the nation from out of Texas. Collison and one. I'll tell you, it's senior day here. It's going to be senior day down in Norman, Oklahoma. And there'll be a lot of tears shed when they introduce Hollis Price, one of the special kids in America. I should look at uh, Hollis's family. family. Take a look at my all Big 12 team. Not a bad team. You could challenge a lot of people with those five. My coach of the year would be Eddie Sutton, and my diaper dandy of the year would be Kevin Bookout down there in Oklahoma. 
up by Witherspoon. Showed good speed, didn't finish. Collis is right there for another rebound. He's putting up heck of a number side senior day. Miles cut back Collis and hit stop. Heinrich from the corner. They're going to cheer every move by these two fellas because you know that with the score being what it is, they probably won't finish out this game, although Roy may bring it back for the last few seconds. No, he'll bring them both out, actually, for a, for a big ovation here. Yes, he uh, he'll orchestrate that as we come down to the uh, the last six minutes of this game. They got a big turnaround. They got to go right out of town tomorrow because they're playing Texas Tech on Monday down in Lubbock. Not an easy place to play. You Another double-double for uh, for Collison, Dick. That's five in a row. He's got five in a row now, double-doubles. Bobby Knight's really planning mentally what we got to do to try to stop him, but he's got a tough date this afternoon with Texas. Play Texas and Kansas in a matter of 48 hours. Two man game up on top by any Sutton's club. I tell you, he's done a marvelous job to get this club to win 20 games this year. In this tough conference that they play in. of Collison and Heinrich through the four years they've lost only three games here back in the year 2000 2001 and then this year Arizona came to town and whipped up on them pretty good but only three losses in their entire four year career here in uh, Lawrence that Arizona game was very similar to the game I had the other day with Louisville and with Marquette Louisville played brilliantly for 15 minutes had a 19 point lead and lost it and the same basically in their matchup with Arizona they choked on Arizona early had them down big and then Arizona responded Salim Stoudemire that club's on fire right now they got a tough day today now we've had Stanford. 19 blocked shots in wow. this game 11 of them by the uh, Kansas Jayhawks could have a few more block shots next year with that David Padgett we met today the seven footer come out of Reno be wearing a Kansas uniform this is one of the great programs in America there's no doubt about it you took elite programs you have to mention the name Kansas that's why it's a shame what's happened out there at UCLA absolutely a shame Oh, I can't believe it. He likes that tie. See, he said that tie. Got the bow tie off. Put this tie on. And we're a different basketball team. Yeah. Don't believe that, baby. It's Collison. It's Heinrich. It's Langford. It's Miles. It's Graves. Williams. Miles goes to the floor, and Williams makes the most of it. He's a good little player. I'll tell you, I like Victor Williams. He is really a good player. He's got good range, good penetration ability. They got to get some minutes out of him. He can become a valuable player to this team. Fine. Collison couldn't jam it in. Almost had a monster slam. That would have brought the house down. That would have brought the house down. Now we're inside of that five-minute mark, and Collison and Heinrich are bringing down the curtain. One of the uh, great four-year careers here in uh, Kansas history. Oklahoma State just doesn't have the kind of firepower to get back from 20 down. Allen misfiring. Loose. Collison picks it up. He run that trail. And Collison trailing up on high. They like to slide that guy in. They did that great when they had LaFrance. He's going to have to go to the bench. Who's not happy by that pass thrown by Miles? I want to tell you that right now. And, uh, Lee goes off. Checks in and Lee will come out. Lee, good defensive player, gives him some good minutes defensively. Solid performance. This is a good basketball team, Oklahoma State, that they're up by 20 on. Club's got some quality wins. I just love Eddie Sutton as a coach. I think the guy is just absolutely one of the great minds to work the sideline. McFarland's a kid that's got ability. If they're going to do any damage come through the time, he's got to be consistent inside. And he had those triplets down in Arkansas when he had Dolph Brewer. Certainly Sidney Moncrief, who is son, by the way, is a great player, committed to Stan Heath in Arkansas. And Miles is the orchestra leader. He's their quarterback. 
Attempt for the steal. Diving to the floor. I'm going to tell you, in his last game here in the Allen Fieldhouse, Nick Collison just showed you why he's an All-American. Shows you why the coach almost had tears in the locker room with us before the game or in his office when he spoke about it. And here he is in his last game. They're up by 20 and getting a handshake from Roy Williams. Look at this. Going look at to this. the floor. Take just a look moments ago, and Roy brought him over and shook his hand. That uh, just because of that hustle play right there. That's for example for all you young kids out there. Don't ever feel you're too good, man, to die for loose balls, to play the game with a lot of passion and a lot of feeling. Unfortunately, some guys, man, they get carried away when they become star quality, and they think that's beneath them. But that's why that kid is a winner, and that's why he's going to make a lot of money going to the NBA and be a quality player for some NBA team. Stain replaces McFarland. Yeah, McFarland's got to give him consistent minutes. He's too good a player to be up and down. He's fouled out at seven points, ten rebounds. He almost had a double double, but he's capable of doing that. He's got ability. I've watched him on the tube several times. He's got a lot of ability. They lost last year. Kent State in the first round. Kent State went on to the Elite Eight. This year you've got teams like Creighton, man. Watch Creighton with Kyle Gorman. Dangerous. So Heinrich adds the two free throws now. Gives him 19 points for the game. You're watching ABC Sports Championship Television. After three days of intense tournament competition, the world's top 64 golfers will be down to just four. Catch the dramatic semifinal matches next on ABC. And of course, we'll be going to golf immediately upon the conclusion of this game. The NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC. The Oklahoma State Cowboys going down at the hands of the Kansas Jayhawks on Senior Day here. And Kansas, well, almost never loses on Senior Day. This will be 20 consecutive successful Senior Days for the Jayhawks. And they'll bring down a curtain on the Collison Heinrich era in here. Miller on the turnaround, and there's Nick Collison snapping down. Still another rebound in his closing moments at the Allen Fieldhouse. You just know that he's about to go off to a huge ovation here, along with Heinrich, as we approach the uh, three-minute mark. He plays like right now they're down 20 instead of being up 20. Turnover that time. The bottom line is you don't want to play my senior day. I guess we had 20 in a row now. You don't want to come here on senior day. You look at that and you say, hey, we're not coming. Has that high post screen? A lot of teams like to utilize that. Got to step out, got to hedge. Allen's got some skill, Dick. Uh, yeah, he's got a fine young uh, find, I think, in Allen. Yeah, he's a good player. He's had a struggle in their losses. One for 13, though, against Cincinnati. One for 11 against Oklahoma. Oh. And the foul by Williams. They got two losses. They'd like to get back. Certainly, that Baylor. Let's take a look at the uh, seniors here today. You can see Collison with 24 points, 15 rebounds, and five blocks. Heinrich, 19 points, five rebounds, and five assists. Just an unbelievable conclusion to their careers here at Kansas see, on the home floor. I think whenever you got a tandem that will go inside, outside, to give you that balance, that makes you so effective. And nobody does that better on a perimeter and on the inside than Heinrich and Collison. Certainly, Collison would like to have his buddy Wayne Simeon in there because Simeon gives him even more space. But without Simeon now, teams are going to be able to give a little more attention to him down in that post as you look at Simeon. Good looking young guy. Wish him all the luck in the world for recovery from that shoulder surgery he'll have in March. Collison, the three ball, not this time. He was hoping <laughs> he could nail that and bring it down with an exclamation point. Got another block shot. And a put back. So McWay makes it, tap back over, and here comes on the turnover. We're inside of two minutes now. Sloppy play right there by Kansas. Oklahoma State, one thing the kids kept fighting and fighting and fighting. 20 blocked shots in this game here today. It's just amazing performance of uh, 
shot blocking skills. It's been a block party. Thou shalt not enter thy lane. The first commandment when you play that three second area against volley people. I love shot blockers. They are a special dimension. When you got guys that can block shots, forces teams to go to the perimeter. Just a solid performance defensively by Kansas. Don't lose sight of that. They did a great job defensively here tonight. Carlson wants to give it to Heinrich. Comes back with the rebound. From the corner. Wide open. The three off the front of the iron. I think right now they're thinking too much rather than just playing. Nice transition. Right, finishes. Nice transition by Oklahoma State. Filling the lane. Got down to 15. They never in doubt. He's got to get the standing over for both guys. Well, he wants one more field goal, I think, from one of them. Nash misses. Collison almost had it. Cowboys put together a little spurt, like Dick said. Eddie Sutton's team's never quit. Williams comes back. Well, they keep it free, and now we're down to the final minute. Langford and Bean Fowley. Now let's see what uh, Roy's going to do here. He's moving down the bench. He's thinking about it at the 55-second mark. Yeah, he's yep, here we it. come. He's going to make the change. Stand to those two kids that have given you hearts. Great, great players here in Kansas. 50 wins, going down 51 at home. So the 6-7, Brett Olson, will come for Collison. There goes Nick Collison. Here comes the ovation, ladies and gentlemen. Just listen. Straight victory over the Cowboys in Lawrence. So they have dominated Oklahoma State in this arena. But uh, Eddie Sutton and the Cowboys know that the next time they come in here, they will not have to deal with uh, Mr. Collison and Heinrich. Out of Paget and Giddens <laughs> and Wilkes. <laughs> Two of my favorites right there. Two genuine All-Americans. You can't say enough about them. With quality people. Proud of appreciating the effort today by all the Kansas players. Great fans here in Rock Chalk, Jayhawk land. One of the great programs in college hoops, my friends. Thank the seniors for their great memories. They're not done yet. They got a journey now to try and wrap up the regular season. They got to play Texas Tech on the road and Missouri on the road. So that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, on Senior Day. Kansas wins it 79 to 61. For Dick Vitale, I'm Brett Musburger, saying so long from Lawrence, Kansas. Now let's send it to John and Digger back in our studio. So long, everybody. All right, Brent, we'll get everyone out to the World Golf Championship, but we want to get you to the final seconds of the Georgetown-Syracuse game. Syracuse up late. Really for three. Rebound, Mac 
McNamara. And now they have to foul maybe the best free throw shooter in the country in Jerry McNamara. We'd like to welcome all of you around the country now from your various games to this game here between Syracuse and Georgetown. The Orangemen potentially on the verge of putting this one away after trailing by as many as a dozen. Syracuse is up two. They've got McNamara, a 94% free throw shooter with the line. And I don't know how much Craig Eshrick really liked that shot by Gerald Riley as McNamara misses his second free throw today after having made 30 in a row coming into this game. And now no matter what he does, Led, it's still going to be a one-possession game. Well, that's huge, obviously. You know, you talk about the bounce of the ball today. You've had the best free throw shooter in the conference miss two of them. This one, a critical one. You've had Georgetown, who's been very successful getting the ball to Mike Sweetney in critical situations, not even be able to get the ball to him in the last three possessions. There have been so many great games between Syracuse and Georgetown over the years, maybe none bigger than the Big East Championship in 1984. Michael Graham of Georgetown and Andre Hawkins of Syracuse stirring it up early. Michael Jackson for the Hoyas sends it to overtime. In the extra session, all Patrick Ewing as the Hoyas go on to pull away and win 82-71 and win the Big East Tournament in the year that they would go on to win the NCAA Championship. This is the 71st meeting all time between Georgetown and Syracuse, the 53rd since the formation of the Big East Conference. And this, of course, the rivalry that helped define this conference in the early years. And as you said earlier, Greg Eshrick told you last night, he doesn't have to motivate his players at all to play Syracuse. This rivalry still means a lot to both of these schools. And it doesn't matter where the teams are ranked. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. You know, this is the game. And this game is not over yet. Even if McNamara knocks down this free throw, it will still be just a three-point lead. Well, the question is, I'm sure in the huddle, on a miss, do you push it up? Do you call timeout? Something going to make you do. Dwayne is going to come into the game for Syracuse. Who's coming out? Jerry McNamara is coming out. He just hit the free throw to make it a three-point game. Riley, who's inbounding the ball, is a great three-point shooter. Bethel can really stroke it as well. Riley turns it over. Sweetney gets it back. Riley for three, and he tied the game. What a shot by Gerald Riley. Forget the shot for a moment. Think about the recovery of Mike Sweetney. Huge. Now remember, there's still three seconds left. They're coming down. He loses the ball, and Sweetney steps up. And look at those hands. Finds the shooter. And that's really how a three-point shooter should shoot the shot, from inside out. And a nice job, again, of Sweetney getting that loose ball. Mike Sweetney's seventh assist of the game. None bigger than that. Gerald Riley's three ties it up with 3.2 seconds to play. But Syracuse, as you mentioned, they've still got some time to try to win it in regulation. <laughs> what a game, huh? Uh, you can look at the, the facial expression of Jim Beheim. It's just incredulous. What? They played defense. They did everything they possibly could. Georgetown still comes up with the loose ball. Now the job is to prevent the first pass from getting free uh, half court line or beyond. You got to force them forward, force them closer to the baseline to receive, make them have to go that much further. Nobody on the ball, and there's Edel, and he's going to have to go a long way. Puts it up from 40 feet, and we are headed to overtime. Riley with the three that ties it. Five more minutes coming up between the Hoyas and the Orangemen. 